What's going on, everybody? You're watching New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. For today's show on the channel, I wanted to go through three NFL free agents that are still out there that the New York Giants could sign and that they wouldn't have to spend a lot of money on. All three of these fellas would be very affordable free agent targets, but I just want to look at three free agent targets. I wanted to look at three guys that the Giants could sign that could start for the New York Giants. So position of needs, players available that would start and play a whole lot of snaps for Big Blue this season. Let's start with a linebacker, a former Pro Bowler, and a guy that actually had a free agency visit with the New York Football Giants, and that's Deion Jones. Remember, Jones met with the Giants and in the later parts of NFL free agency prior to the NFL draft, and a lot of people thought if the Giants couldn't get a linebacker in the later rounds that they liked, they would circle back to Jones in free agency and try to iron out a deal. But they ended up doing that with Ashawn Robinson, which means they may not have enough money at the current time for Deion Jones, which they could create the money. I don't think it would take all that much, maybe one year, $3 million deal. Jones at one point was one of the best linebackers in the National Football League. In 2019, he had 110 tackles. The next year, he had 106 tackles. The year following that, he had 137 tackles. And he's also a linebacker that can get to the quarterback. But my favorite part of what Dion does is his athletic ability, his player profile, and the archetype he brings to the game. He can play sideline to sideline. He's one of the fastest linebackers in the NFL. And I think the Giants need to continue to bring more team speed to that linebacker position. And... With Jared Davis potentially being linebacker two for the Giants entering this season, I believe Deion Jones is a better football player than him, and I think he would be a better fit alongside Bobby Okereke, who is no doubt going to be your starting inside linebacker number one. I would take Deion Jones over Jared Davis. While the Giants don't need Deion Jones, it would, they would definitely be a better football team with him because I think Darian Beavers is going to have a good season as he comes back. From that torn ACL, Micah McFadden has reportedly really been impressing in camp. Wink Martindale talked about him. Bobby Okereke talked about him. So maybe they want to go with a younger guy. But if you want someone who's the best available player at that position right now in the free agency market, that's Deion Jones. Okereke, Jones, that's the most speed the Giants linebacker position would have had in a long, long time. So before we talk about the other two free agents, the Giants could sign that could start for this football team. I want to ask you this about Deion Jones, the inside linebacker. Should Big Blue sign him? Should Joe Shane get a deal done with Deion? Let me know. Type S for sign. Type P for pass. I want to hear from you down below. This is the pinned comment on today's show. So if and when you get hit with that YouTube ad break, scroll on down and let me know. Should the Giants sign Deion Jones? The best receiver left in NFL free agency is DeAndre Hopkins, and I'm sure a lot of people are like, why are we talking D-Hop? Because it's the segment of the day. We're talking about free agents that could start for the Giants. The Giants have not shown interest, really, in, De in DeAndre Hopkins. There was that time when Brian Dable said, I believe at Giants OTAs, that they do their due diligence. So they probably reached out and asked him what it would cost, and it was probably too much. Hopkins has vid visited the Tennessee Titans and New England Patriots, but reportedly wants to drive up his market a little bit more. Hopkins and others are in no rush to sign with training camp about a month away. And although I don't necessarily think the Giants are in on DeAndre Hopkins, there's no doubt about it that if he was signed, he would step in and be wide receiver one for this football team. I know a lot of people talk about age and injuries, but man, when the guy plays, he's still one of the best in the business. Last year in just nine games, he had almost 70 catches for 700 plus yards and three touchdowns. In 10 games played in 2021, he played, he had eight touchdowns. Only missed one game, or I guess it was two games due to injury in 2022. He had that six game suspension as well. I'm not worried about the injuries as much as other people. I just think the price point and the cost of signing D-Hop is going to be a little bit too much for the Giants and Mr. General Manager Joe Shane, no doubt about it, he would be the number one wide receiver. But I don't think the Giants necessarily need DeAndre Hopkins. Would it be nice? Absolutely. Would the Giants be better with DeAndre Hopkins? 
Absolutely. Would it make life for Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley better? Absolutely. But do you need Nuke? Do you need Hopkins? No, the Giants are just fine. Albeit they don't have that elite top-tier wide receiver one, but they don't need to allocate that many more resources to the wide receiver position. So for that, I would say the Giants don't need him, and I don't believe they are going to sign him. But I want to circle back to who the Giants have at that position group, talking wide receivers. What's your confidence level in these fellas? How confident are you that the Giants wide receivers are going to be productive this year? Scale it from 1 to 10. 1 being you're not confident, 10 being you are extremely confident. Rate your confidence in the Giants receivers in the comment section. And remember, remember guys, to subscribe to the channel because if the Giants sign Deion Jones or they do the unthinkable and they sign DeAndre Hopkins or they make a trade or an injury happens or whatever goes down around the Giants, we're going to put a video out on this channel. We put out Giants content every single day, so subscribe if you love Big Blue. The last player we're going to talk about in today's show is defensive back John Johnson. I think the only position group outside of linebacker that I could actually see the Giants adding to this deep in the NFL offseason is the safety position. And John Johnson used to be one of the best safeties in the NFL. He's definitely a good run stopper. And I like the actual thought of him playing alongside Xavier McKinney. This past year, Johnson had over 100 tackles, four pass breakups, four tackles for loss. I think Johnson in a Wink Martindale defense where he could get creative, move them all over, kind of play that star position, get him at a big nickel, hop into the box, could make some sense. And the reason I think the Giants could look at that safety position alongside McKinney is just because they don't have the most talent there. I thought Pinnock played pretty well when he had to sub in for McKinney following that hand injury on the ATV in Mexico. I like Dane Belton, the young kid. I think Javarius Owens, the seventh-round pick out of the University of Houston, the former Cougar, makes some sense, and he's got some juice. Bobby McCain is a strong veteran, best days behind him, but definitely a guy that's versatile and could bring some, sp uh, bring some juice and a spark to this defense. So you don't necessarily need a safety, but if you wanted to bring in a guy who was at one point a top guy in this league to pair alongside Xavier McKinney, John Johnson is the best on that market. We've talked about receivers. We've talked about uh, linebacker. And we've talked about safety in today's show. So I want to ask you this question before we bounce up out of here. What position group are you most worried about this season for the New York Giants? Be honest with me down below. I want to hear from you guys. I really value your opinion. I go down and I look at the comment section all the time. So what position group are you most worried about? Let me know down below. And remember to subscribe to our New York Knicks channel here at Chat Sports. I am the host over there, and we are going to be live for NBA free agency coverage on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe even Monday. So if you want to watch the NBA free agency period unfold and hang out with myself and Patrick Seatman, Subscribe to Knicks Now, the hottest channel in all of YouTube. Go to youtube.com slash TV and subscribe and join us then. Always, as always, I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate you guys for tuning in, taking part of your busy day, uh, taking part out of your busy day, and just rocking with us here for a couple of minutes here on the channel. So thank you. I appreciate you. And if you want to chop it up some more, we can always do so on my Twitter, at MarshallGreen underscore.